Chris. He's so protective about his banana. It's unbelievable. Welcome to Profile Digital Agency's vlog number four. Thanks for tuning in again. Hope you've enjoyed the other three. Uh, last week's episode for me was amazing. That was a real uh, look into the business, how we operate. That's a genuine day of what goes on, meetings, coming back to the office. So in today's episode, we're gonna go and see the, the new HQ, our potential new office that we're looking at. It's a bit run down at the moment, but you're gonna see uh, the, pl the new plans. We're meeting the architect and the facilities manager. Gonna look at how it's gonna be for us with glass walls, meeting rooms, the studio, podcast studio, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna show the, the progression of profile as a business. Um, also today we're gonna to look at um, Cam's skydive and what he's gonna be doing next for future challenge Cam. Are yeah, you all right, don't worry, it's fine. Um, the issue is gonna be really exciting. So um, we've got a few big announcements to make as well, uh, a few good things to show you, but uh, really I'd like just to dive into social media uh, people's, how businesses are perceived online, how we can manage reputation for people online. We've had a great success story yesterday that went out on Facebook, which is which is awesome. Uh, was one that I was personally really proud of, um, which was great. Um, so yeah, we're going to dive into that. Like this morning, for example, uh, Ollie, who's behind the camera at the moment, say hello, Ollie. He's been he's been chopping up footage from uh, the old vlogs, and we're going to be uh, putting them into squares. For like for Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and like little snippets because there's some, been some great footage in the in the back end of some of these vlogs, but people may have left left the vlog before, so we'll see. So we're gonna put it out on on social media and, and just just document the whole thing. So yeah, we're gonna get some now. We're gonna get some lunch. It's all important and a coffee. Right, so I've just got off the phone to a recruitment agency, which it, for us is really, really exciting because that is a, um, a sector that I think we can do some uh, serious damage in. So about three weeks ago, we did a, because we wanted to get into the sector, we did a free promotional video giveaway. Um, and the video is ready. It's been sent to the client, they've approved it, they love it, we love it, and it's going out on Friday, so it'd been two so this will be guessing on Sunday, this is going out Friday, Friday night hopefully. Um, I'm, I'm really excited for it because I think we've got all our, we've got all of the tools to really help recruitment agencies nearly the most. Like I just can't help but think it's a sector that we're dying to get into. Um, there's a lot of good recruitment agencies around here, they're very proactive in what they do, they they're great people, they're salesmen, um, and I don't think any of them are using social media the way they should be at the moment. So the, the video went to Eclectic Recruitment in Cambridge. Two young guys who've been working for a bigger bigger business before, they've gone on to start, start their own business and they won the competition, um, they've had the video. So for me, it couldn't have gone to a better, a better person, a better, a better business, it just couldn't have gone to a better business. Um, they're, gonna, they're gonna get a lot of um, exposure from this video. So let's see how it goes, but I'm really excited. Um, see, see what happens. Right, so yesterday we put out a post for a client of ours, um, and it was a particularly special post because I was at home on Facebook a couple of nights ago and I saw someone asking for a recommendation for this guy's uh, particular service and I looked through the the comments and it was his name his name his name his name and the the lady didn't even know who he was it's just everyone in the community rallying behind this guy and that is the uh, the result of the work that we put in with him um, strategic planning, uh, running his social media for him, um, and it, it was nice to see because uh, the plan had come off. When I first met him, he came to us with his page was dead; it was not wasn't producing any income whatsoever, and and now it's 
I phoned him yesterday and asked him like, what is it? What is it making you a week? And he said between between fourteen and fifteen hundred and two thousand pound a week in 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 leads, sales, revenue, uh, work that he's getting, all in this area. So the strategy that we put in place it really has worked, and I, I was really pleased with that. Um, so we basically so we started him on social media. Um, and when the work started getting bigger and better, he then asked us to produce a job post for potential staff. Um, and then we built him a, a, a small but effective and punchy little website. Um, and as his business grows now and he takes some more staff, we can look to give him some more services that are going to help him grow. Not the services we think he should have or, or the ones that he, he came to us and said he wants. These are the ones that are actually going to build his business. Um, now he's got social media locked down around here. He's in the gold. He's in the golden circle. He's absolutely got it locked down. Um, so it just shows you the tradesmen that didn't that didn't believe in social media and stuff that they're losing out on work. Um, that work's going to die off. You know, social media is way forward. You've got access to so many different people, different people's umbrellas of different communities of friends or families. Um, yeah. So in the post, you know, I put what's to come. From him, from us now. When he starts to grow, we're gonna we're looking we're probably gonna look to put him on uh, an SEO or PPC campaign that's now gonna start winning him work outside of social media for people that that go onto Google, which is cool. Um, so if I was if I just moved to the area and I didn't know anybody, if, if you you probably would, may go on Facebook to look for recommendations, or you probably might just get to Google and type in local um, tradesmen in St Ives. And that's where you're going to rank the people that have got the most Google presence and under authority. Um, that will deliver him regional domination, basically. And, that, and that's then going to be, now we're talking life changing figures, life changing stuff for him, his family, for his kids. You know, it's, it's, it's a powerful stuff, and I'm, I'm really proud we did it. Um, but yeah, social media is a big one for us, it's something we love. Personally, for me, I love getting. I love getting into social media, hacking into hacking into little communities and, and ways to get the most presence, um, ways to get your posts seen the most without being spammy, which is a big thing to try not to avoid. Um, but yeah, it's been good fun. It's nice to is it for a local case study like this, a success story. I think we should we should celebrate people like this. It's good. Just got off the phone to one of our other filmmakers. We're putting together uh, a promo from the manufacturers. Of manufacturer, Jesus. <laughs> Cut to the. Uh, <laughs> so one of our clients, a big, uh, vehicle leasing company, have uh, just got out uh, deals for a new car, at Audi Q8. Stunning looking car. So we've got the manufacturers promo video that they send out to all the different leasing companies. Uh, so we've asked our filmmaker to put our own personal spin on this be putting together a closing screen, like a call to action for the promo. They look, look amazing. So we're going to take we're taking their footage, spinning it up the, the true profile way. Mm. So hopefully Chris is going to be able to put it out of the bag. But we're just thinking about like what type of call to action to have on here with the logo. But this is going to go out as a Facebook ad too. So it'll be, it'll be amazing. They've got they've got a really um, hot. Facebook following to this this and they yeah they've got they've they're got a very they've got a very good hibber 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 I love it when my iMac starts talking to me <laughs> no they've got um they have an extremely uh I'd say active a, they're very active the crowd on there obviously you people think they're all car people, fans aren't they people love cars you got you've got car fans on there and you've got guys that are just looking for a good deal so. Um, yeah, it's a very active page, you know. Like when you, when you, well, you can tell by the engagement. Like when you, whenever you post, either an amazing car deal or a very sought after vehicle. Um, but know, the, particularly with this car, Chris, the manufacturers now put the, the, they've gone up a level yeah, uh, with interiors. Car, oh, but the car level's just gone through the roof. Oh, so. That's immense. So absolutely immense. I think the car that we're pushing out today, I think one of the features has got like a, a foot massager in the back seat. 
Yeah, no. Not that everyone needs a foot massager in the back seat. My corsa does not have that. No, it's quite a nice thing to have, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, no, it'll be good. It'll be good. Hopefully, it'll be um, out in the very near future too. So it should. Um... But interestingly, um, the client that we're talking about at the moment—that's a key account for us. So yeah. we could easily just post a picture of this car. Well, I think we already have actually. Which yeah. button thing that in that we say we've yeah. got to go above and beyond for this customer. So we're, we've taken the manufacturer's footage. That they, what's, what is that footage we got? Yeah, so, out to yeah, the display. so I mean, they've got the manufacturers have media centers um, mm. in which you can use the footage and take little snippets of for your own marketing tools, per se. So, you know, it's a very underlied, underutilized method of marketing at the moment. Um, Hopefully they go absolutely banana. Yeah, they, are. <laughs> they should do. So yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, we're trying to put the focus on the video at the moment because you know, like, all the other marketing channels are quite—they're very saturated. So you know, like, one of the old great sayings of sort of marketing is if you're trying to, if you well, not if you're trying, but if you're competing in a very saturated market, so um, why don't you move mm. to another one? So if Say everyone's trying to work on Google and get the Google rankings up, which is great, you know, like we do that as well. Um, but the competition is ridiculous, like there's ridiculous competition on there. Um, let's look to another channel, um, another channel being the video advertising. You know, if you could, and another tool on that channel. Yeah, exactly. So you know, you've got you've got YouTube, you've got Facebook. Um, it's the easiest way to get into people's into people's devices nowadays so um, yeah let's do it and I guarantee video video gets video engagement is just through the roof. But with this is, this video is gonna be specific to this client. Yeah. It's gonna have their logo on it, it's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah. And we've cut it down to our own and put our own spin on it with our own music, our own logos to one minute thirty. Perfect for social sharing. Oh, most definitely. This is gonna blow all the other competition out of water with this. Nobody's gonna have this video. And our client, a key account of ours that are very important, you're gonna love it. So we're on the way to our new office to meet the architects and the facilities manager to give us a little bit of a tour. Um, it'll be great to take you along with us so you can see the, see the progression of the, the space. Um, what I've got in the car, I'd like to formally announce that Cameron, Killer Cam, survived the skydive. Which is great news for him, <laughs> obviously, for his family and for business. He survived. Not sure we're going to survive my driving though. There we go, um, which was great. So we, we managed to raise a thousand and ten pounds for Magpass, uh, Magpass Air Ambulance. They are a self-funded charity based around here. The the helicopter takes a lot of money to run, um, so we're, we're we're amazed. We're over the moon to have raised that amount of money for them for an amazing cause. So um, so yeah, we're really happy. Um, secondly. I would love you guys to get in the comments to think of what we can make Cam do next. Hashtag challenge Cam. Um, lion feeding, knife juggling, um, swimming with sharks, all some of the things that we've come up with in the office, but you guys think of something that um, that he can do. Maybe like man versus food type challenge or something like that. Um, yeah, get in the comments, get in the pot. It'd be absolute chaos, make him do something else. I'm sure he's gonna love it, but he survived the first time, so let's try and kill him off this time. Um, but, in, but at least we'll raise some money in the process doing it. chat with the architect drawings have been agreed which is amazing um, I'm over the moon let's go and have a quick look around and see the different teams areas where it's all gonna be um, yeah can I have a look after you so this is gonna be one of the first offices well with this is gonna have a glass wall big glass wall down here so we can look down the full length of the office um, that'd, be, that'd be really cool and then we've got the main, the big main office where we're going to have three banks, like sales, 
um, and probably accounts and web, web design and development down here with probably a glass, this is going to be a glass wall here. It's going to be a glass boardroom here. In there so we can, we can meet and greet clients, we can talk to people about their um, uh, requirements, what they need, what they're hoping for. Be a great space. Then we come through, it's looking a bit messy at the moment, but this used to be like a washing machine repair place, so you're going to need to have a bit of, this going to be where the, the staff eat, eat their dinner, a bit of a staff area, pool table, table tennis. We've got bathrooms, kitchen, all being redone. So as you can see, this is a massive space, like they're absolutely huge. Got ladies and gents toilets in there. Then the most exciting place, especially for the man behind the camera, is our studio. So we're gonna have an editing station here. There's gonna be a door going through here. Um, and we've got this massive space to do live video, podcasting, um, promo videos, you name it we can do. We can hire out the studio to web design to, sorry, to photographers, people who are, are, are doing promotional videos, businesses that wanna come in, use our lighting rigs, our sound equipment, um, backdrops, business promo, you name it, we can do it. So it's a really, really exciting space for us. And not only can we deliver the web project, um, and do the, the web design, the content, we can also give you a, a promo facility to invite you in to check out what we're doing. So I'm over the moon with this. So we've just had a, a bit of a, a brief walk round tour. Um, Chris is our technical director, who's going to be hopefully building a, a pretty, a pretty big web design team here. Yeah. Um, the second time he's been to the facility, so do you know, what, what do you think about the... Oh, it's how fantastic. It looks? Absolutely fantastic. Um, massive space, which is great, you know, there's room for expansion. Absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, the addition of the studio as well, that will speed up, like, work tenfold, especially as we end up doing a lot of the photography yeah. shoots for a lot of our clients, so... Um, all, yeah. all in-house. Yeah, we could get everything done in-house, you know, it will just, it'll, it'll just speed up productivity in general. So, yeah, I'm looking This is cutting edge, a cutting edge as well, like, yeah, nobody's yeah. got this. No digital agency around there, have got their own studio. Um, we, can, we can film, produce yeah. uh, for products, clients, businesses. Big, it'd be an absolute yeah. game changer for us. So. Most definitely. Looking, looking forward to it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so let's wrap this up now. So we're, we're here with Warren and Dan. We're in their office, which is going to be the, the new Extreme Events office. It's absolutely massive. You have a glass box, meeting rooms, managers' offices, showers, toilets, beautiful uh, reception area. It's going to be crazy. Um, bringing everyone, everyone under one roof would be pretty special, wouldn't it? Definitely. I think, especially for me and Waz, at the moment, we're we're travelling a lot, obviously from St. Yeah. Ives over to Ramsey, back and forth, having all three businesses under one roof. It's only going to benefit all of them, I think, isn't it? I think so, yeah. It's, it's important for us to spend as much time in the other two businesses as we can. Obviously, with you being a relatively mm. new business and Modern World as a startup as well, it's really important that we, we're there to be lent on when we need to be. Yeah. And I think the avenue right next door to us, rather than 12, 15 mile away, is going to help everybody. So we're excited, obviously. The building looks a bit run down at the moment, but we've just had the architect here and, and the, the landlord and just going through absolutely everything what we need to do and where we're going to put different rooms and glass that's boxes. That's what's exciting about it. Yeah, it's really it's cool. Seeing it in this Look state it. and then hopefully when we come back in March and it's this spangly new office. Yeah, it'd be really good. And, and if the car parking. Bit, as you said. <laughs> yeah, jizz <laughs> it right up. <laughs> the car parking as well, so there'll be no. Um, There'll be no haggles about where, where to park, although at the minute we're a, bit, we're a bit up against it with our car parking spaces. And when our guests come to us, at the minute we're almost a little bit embarrassed to take people back to our office at Ramsey. It's, um, we're a big nationwide brand now and we take people back to an office which really isn't fit for purpose. So this would be lovely to have. That's what um, Russell was saying when mm. making that meeting area, a nice glass front, mm. coming yeah, amazing. in, nice seating area, yeah, it's offer a nice cup of tea and coffee instead of... Or a bottle of gin. Or a bottle your finest gin. <laughs> Rupert is your man. <laughs> yeah, so we're looking forward to it. It's going to be good. So come back in a couple of months and hopefully you'll see it all That's it. done and dusted. All right, cool. So thanks for watching this week. If you like the video, like and subscribe. Um, until next week, we're out to drink Dan's, Dan's gin in the <laughs> car park. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. Thank you.